bills that's coming in and we need to focus on the schools. Three things we need to focus on this time is the schools and that's the new voters that's coming in. We need to focus more uh, outside of our community. So I'm saying outside of our communities because for some reason we ain't doing a very good job inside. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. so I, see, I figure if I'm going to tell us to do outside, we'll do more inside. <laughs> but you think, Mr. Glass, Mr. Glass, you think so? And the other report that we want to give is we just reiterated, uh, if there's such a word in the law, if we return, what is it, uh, Mr. Semester, when you go back and, and, and check a lawsuit that you already won? And that is like amendment or something like that? Uh, then we, well, to check a lawsuit you already won, you just have to pull it up. Yeah, so we pulled it up and we went back to the Department of Corrections. You'll receive flyers that's in each and every prison. And, and community corrections that's in there. Uh, one of the things that we got to go back and do is the jail. We have to go back and make sure that the jail is, is, is uh, paying attention and doing what they're supposed to do. Now, according to our lawsuit, we won it up from the Department of Corrections. That includes all 29 prisons and community corrections. However, each jail wants to fight us, so I might have to sue them individually. Hopefully, I won't. Uh, Mr. Sinclair, which is the assistant attorney general, called us today and told us that he's meeting with the, uh, the president of the Sheriff's Association for them to get together because what they got to understand is they do got state inmates in each county. So we should be able to make sure that each county jail and each city jail is registered to even vote, that's able to vote. Let me say this, then I'm finished. Remember, even though a person got a felony conviction, the DA right here, if they got a conviction of possession, not sales, but possession, they never lost their voting right. I don't care if they locked up in prison, in jail, where they at. If they got a conviction of felony DUI, no matter what, they still could vote. They never lost their voting right. If they got an attempt of burglary, not burglary, but attempt. If they got an attempt of harassment, not harassment, but attempt, they could still vote. They never lost their voting right. We set it up in 2008 for them to vote by absentee ballots. We will be focusing on that. The other thing that we will be focusing on is going out here and doing voter education. A lot of people are not voting. A lot of people are not getting out here because they don't. They're not educated on doing so. And we are monitoring everything. Don't ask what we monitor. Just come up with something. If you, if you come up, we already probably monitor. We got a young lady here. Uh, that's monitoring some stuff and treatment of women in the county jail and all kinds of stuff going on. Because they're not getting sanitary napkins a lot. So we got big, big problems that we're addressing. But my biggest thing, the reason we all want to get up here, is that we got to solve it within ourselves. We don't need to go outside use the county to solve our problems if we can solve it within us. That's going back to this communication. The last thing I would love to say is when you, you was just talking about what Chief Ben said about the 12 hours, Dope thing when we did the, uh, y'all know about the head of the case and all that, what we going through. But our part was the advocacy part. We ain't got nothing to do with them lawyers, lawsuits and all that. I'm an advocate for the family. My advocacy was those three bills. That's about mental health training for law enforcement officers. Correctional officers got a lot of law enforcement they got. They got a gun. Correctional officers don't. And we talked about uh, recertification, use of deadly force, and the Open Records Act. Those are the three things we got. We got it introduced. It did not pass, but we got the Sheriff's Association. We talking to the DAs, and we talking to other people that are saying, yeah, we agree, because that's kind of being, being transparent. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend.